What's going on, Jarity Nation? Today we are going to show you our five favorite jump rope tricks. What's up, guys? I am Dan Whitmer. This is the Jump Rope Dudes, where we help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. So we've been getting a lot of requests as we've been putting videos out to start compiling like, you know, some of our favorite trick videos. And I know a lot of you guys ask like, what tricks do you guys like to use? And so in today's video, what we really wanted to do was show you the five tricks that you're probably going to see in most of our videos. And then I'm gonna break each one down. Don't worry, we're gonna have some pretty slick slow motion B-roll showing you each move. I'm gonna explain a little bit in detail about each move and kind of like a mini tutorial. And then we're also going to link you guys to the actual full length tutorial in this video. So if you are a beginner and you're like, look, I can't do any tricks yet, man, that is totally fine. We have a beginner playlist that I linked up right here. Check it out. Not sure if you've seen yet, but we are running a February challenge right now and we have some awesome prizes including cash giveaways. So you can get into that challenge still if you click the link below and join our Do The Thing coaching group, you get a free seven day trial. Go check it out in the challenge, link below. Last but not least, I wanna to talk to you guys about the best jump rope experience in the entire world, which is cross rope. You're gonna see those jump ropes in every single one of our videos. But in this one, if you want the rope set that we use in this video, that is also linked up in the description below. Enter Do The Thing at checkout for 10% off. Brandon wouldn't shut up about the shadow on my face, so I turned my hat backwards. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into our top five jump rope tricks. The first move is the famous boxer skip. This is probably the, one of the ones you've seen us do the most. What you'll see here is Brandon alternating his feet. So both feet, when you do the boxer skip, are actually touching the ground. You're just shifting the weight at which those feet are touching the ground. Now, Brandon's doing a double boxer skip, so he's tapping the feet, as you can see, twice with his right and then twice with his, his left. Now you can just do alternating regular, but I want you guys to notice that his upper body stays the same as it would for regular bounce, elbows are in, hands are jutting out to the sides of his hips. But the only thing that's different is this little tap. It's basically regular bounce, as you can see here, his hands stay the same as they would for anything else. But he's just tapping back and forth and shifting the weight of his feet from right to left while letting the other foot that uh, is not touching the ground just kind of graze the ground or uh, lightly slap the ground. So again, the biggest thing about the boxer skip is the shifting of the feet. And if you want to check out the full tutorial, I linked it up right above there to the right. Next up, we have the double side swipe given to us by Jarity community member, Mr. Jeremy. Now, I really like this move because a lot of the reasons that we're doing these moves, we just wanted to show you guys our top five favorite tricks. This is just double, si double side swiping on each side. So when it comes to the front angle here, as you can see, it's two side swipes on each side, but when it comes to the front, yes, I'm swiping on each side, but really the big part here is that my right hand is going over and then my left hand is going over, right hand is, is continuing to go over the left. So again, if you guys wanna see this full length tutorial, I linked it up there to the right. Um, but it, this move gives you a little bit more flavor than just the regular side swipe and makes your transitions also a little bit easier. Now you can see it in full speed here. If you want the full length tutorial, again, it's up to the right, but this is just another move that helps with transitions and just makes you look more like a jump rope ninja. The crisscross. This one is one of our favorites. You see us do the crisscross all the time. Obviously there's different variations of this, um, but the biggest thing I want you guys to see here is that your regular bounce form stays the same and all Brandon's doing is picking a hand that is going to uh, come over top and a hand that's going to go underneath. So his left hand, as you can see here, is the predominant one that's gonna be crossing. And all he's doing is kind of making a circular or like a figure eight motion with his wrists and just taking the rope in and out. And notice how when he spins the rope, it stays tight the whole time. He doesn't, a lot of, a big mistake people make with crisscross is they try to spin their hands too fast and then their legs get caught on the rope. Be patient, let your hands get the full figure eight and make sure that you feel the tightness of the rope as it spins. Again, the full tutorial is linked up to the right. All right, next, onto the double crisscross. 
So the double crisscross is the same as the regular crisscross, except you're holding the cross part for an extra rotation. So honestly, nothing changes here, guys. Again, if you wanna see the full tutorial, it's linked up to the right, but we like to do this one. Uh, sometimes we do a double crisscross. Sometimes we'll just keep our arms crossed and keep jumping rope. But as you can see here, like I said again, all you're doing is crossing the arms and then, and then continuing to spin the rope as they are crossed. So the biggest thing that's involved here is the wrists. Notice how Brandon's arms, after he does that initial cross, stay there, but his wrists also continue to make the rope move to give it momentum to go around that, that second time without him getting tripped up. And always, guys, practice, practice, practice. We, these moves may look easy to you or like we're doing them very easily, um, but we were once beginners as well. So make sure with any of these that you're just practicing. Again, full tutorial linked up to the right. Last but not least, we have the double under crisscross. So again, this is probably one of the most challenging tricks that you're gonna find out there. The tutorial's up to the right. All you're doing is doing the double under and then when you're in midair, you're just crossing your arms. So some people get confused because they think, what do I do first, the crisscross or the double under? The key here is to do the double under first so that you get the momentum of the rope spinning around twice. And then on that second rotation when the rope already has momentum, you're just lightly crossing your arms and the rope is going to spin around for you. I know it's kind of tough to see here, but you'll definitely feel this when you're trying it out. When Brandon jumps up and does the double under, the crisscross, he's not even really trying. He's kind of just moving his arms into position because the rope has been, it has enough momentum to spin around twice. So if you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe to continue receiving more information to help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. Um, also, if you guys have any questions about these tricks, comment below, let us know. We're happy to answer your questions. Thank you guys so much for the continued support on this channel and uh, keep doing the thing, ladies and gentlemen.